fuck. Damn it, you bastard, you prick. Bola. The list goes on and on. So if you wanna swear like a Brit, stay tuned. Hi everyone, my name is Noti and welcome to the Iwa channel. Here you will find everything you need to learn English. And today, how to swear. Make sure there are no kids in the room and if there is someone who can feel offended by these swear words, ask them to leave the room or go somewhere private to hear it. Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! After watching this video, leave in the comments which your favorite British swear word is. Ninga. It comes from the Scots word, ning, and it refers to several things such as someone who smells or looks unclean or is generally unattractive, something smelly, poor quality and also to human excrement. Kiss my ass, you filthy ming. Oh god, look at her, she's a right minger. Bloody. The bloody idiot bloody shot me! I'm all bloody bloody! A phrase used by the British to portray anger or sudden shock it can also be used to emphasize words too. Bloody idiots. In medieval times before Britain was the power it is now, their armies would lead merciless wars on any land they desired. In their colonization, blood flowed like rivers, the earth glowed red and soaked with blood. This bloody reputation led to sayings such as bloody England. From there, it trickled down like blood into day-to-day -day speech. Pissed. This can be a confusing word because in the USA it can mean someone is really mad, very angry, but for the British it can mean so many other things. In the UK to be pissed means to be drunk. Man, I'm fucking pissed. Meaning you're drunk. To tell someone to piss off means they should go away. Pass off! Pass off! But to be pissed off has the same meaning as in America to be really annoyed with someone. Without you, you'd probably be pretty pissed off. To piss about is to be silly or to mess around. To take the piss out of someone means to mock or to make fun of someone. What do you piss out of? Your asshole? Bollocks. Bollocks. This is a very versatile word. It means something rubbish, something great, the best possible, testicles. When something goes wrong, Mel Gibson movie was a load of bollocks. Bollocks. She kicked him in the bollocks, literally. Sod. Sod you. A piece of sod is a piece of soil with grass on it, but like bollocks, it's a very versatile word to swear. If you team it with off, you can tell someone to go away. So if you say sod off, oh come on, mom, sod off. Oh, just sod off. A person can be a sod, for example. That sod has almost told me the end of my book. Sod it. It's an exclamation of frustration and it's often used instead of a stronger one like fuck it. Sod it is broken. Sod all means hardly nothing. For example, hey Ben, what are you doing in your gap ear? Sod all. It means nothing. Mmm, it was good mate, thanks. I just had a sod all Sunday. So go on and swear like a Brit. Swearing is scientifically proven to ease pain and can even help people bond. Fuck yeah! Well, I hope you enjoyed this class as much as I do. Now leave in the comments which is your favorite British swear word. If you like this video, don't forget to watch part 1 and it would really help me if you like it and if you want to see more content like this, go ahead and click on the subscribe button over here. Thanks a lot, I hope you continue to improve your level of English every day. Goodbye!